Hey guys, it's art time. And we have a very special edition of art time today because we're going to be drawing one of Mr. Galloway's favorite things. A map. Now, this is going to be an extra cool art project because not only are we drawing a map, but then Miss Hammond's going to have part two of this project where you're going to make your map look ancient and awesome. So I hope you're ready for that. If you were in Mr. Galloway's digital art class, a couple of my classes started making some maps already. So you can take some of those skills and kind of evolve it into this. We're going to finish the project at home. But if you weren't in one of those classes, you can still follow along and make a really fun fantasy map. Now, we're going to try to make our map really fun, but I want you to imagine that you are Mr. Galloway and you've just had your 15th cup of coffee this morning which means you have the Galloway jitters. Because when we draw this map, you want to draw it with jitter hands when we're drawing our map lines. That's what makes them look really cool and mappy. So we want some islands, some lands, some continents first. I'm just going to draw some shapes. So maybe I'll start and make a little bumpy, jittery <laughs> lump of land. Think about a map or a globe or the atlas. Like, think if this is, like, the little coast of America. And you see how my jittery line makes it look really cool and mappy? I could even put some little floating islands off the edge of it to give it even that cooler look. So I've got this one little continent here. Maybe over here I'll have a different shaped island. And I'm just shaking my hand all over the place. I need to slow down on the coffee today. Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> that's kind of cool. So I've got a little shape there, another little island. Maybe I'll make a little bump here. Maybe long ago there was a land bridge that connected those two islands. That'd be cool. And then one really neat thing about fantasy maps is you can always make an island that looks like something. Like maybe there's a skull island, or maybe there's a dragon island, or maybe Mr. Galloway is going to make a unicorn-shaped <laughs> island. Maybe this is the island of the unicorns. So see how I'm kind of drawing almost like a unicorn head but I had the little jittery lines and I still tried to make it look islandy. So I've got my little chunks of land. Now that we've got land we want to fill it with features such as rivers and mountains and swamps and forests and all that cool stuff. If you've ever seen a map before they're full of those things. So maybe I if I want little mountains, you can almost just do these little bumpy hills, kind of like this. And since I've already got my little unicorn horn, I'm putting them up there to make it look kind of cool. But maybe there's a mountain range that comes down where my unicorn's mane would be. Maybe that would be really cool. And you could put little details like little shadows in the mountains if you want. But I drew a little mountain range here. Maybe this island has a big forest. So I'm going to start with just kind of a bumpy shape. Almost like a cloud, like where my forest will be. And I'm going to put more little bumps and humps, and that kind of makes it look like a forest. So you could have forests on all your islands, on just some of them, on some of your continents, whatever you want to do. Maybe there's another little forest up here. I'll put some more little bumpy forests. Okay. Maybe I have a river. <laughs> Maybe there's a little lake right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could have a river going into my forest. That'd be pretty cool. And maybe it splits off and goes here. Now, maps are always full of towns and castles and all that rad stuff. So you can kind of draw little details. And when you do this, you want to draw a little... So think about where it's going to be. Maybe there's a little room for a town in between these two rivers. If I were making a village, that would be a great place. So I'm going to draw some little boxes for buildings. Kind of like this. I could put little roofs on them. Maybe little doors. You just want to kind of show that that's a little town. Okay. Maybe it's a, a little dock town. So I could have some little boats and maybe a little dock where they kind of come from there. 
Now, in this island, maybe there's a great castle. I could draw a little castle right here. Put some little windows. That could be cool. And um, maybe there's a little village underneath the castle. This is a kingdom of some sort. That's my favorite thing. When you are the king or queen of your land, you get to design and build and do what you want with it. Maybe it's spooky over here at the bottom part of Unicorn Island. So maybe I'll have a big volcano with a cave. And maybe there's lots of spooky, wicked trees around it. This is where the bad guy is going to live. Which you would not expect on Unicorn Island. <laughs> that could be like a little swamp. You just want to try to make lots of little places on your map. A good map is full of cool little places. Um, and I could, to make this look like the water, sometimes you can put these little, almost like little waves around your islands. Kind of like this. That looks kind of cool. I could go, I could go, I could go around it like that, around and around. <laughs> Got some visitors. Could go around like that. My kids are also doing all their home learning, and I think it sounds yep. like they just finished mm -hmm. their homework and they want to see what I'm up to. <laughs> that. You could put some waves in the ocean if you want to. Here, back up your neck. Yeah, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if you want a name for your land, I like to put a little wavy shape up here, almost like a ribbon. A ribbon? <laughs> okay, Ridley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a new star. And I could name my land, like I could name it... What should I name my castle land, this map? The, ki the Castle of Dragons. Oh, I like it. Uh, the Castle of Dragons. Well, since it's a map, I'll put map. Of dragons. Of dragons, that's cool. <laughs> uh, kind of like that. And if it's a map of dragons, I need a dragon on it, so maybe I'll put a little dragon in the water over here. Here, back up. You're bumping into the mic. A sea dragon. Yeah, a sea dragon, that's right. I could go like that. Put a little dragon. Um, now, you could do this all day. I've probably done it too long already. But we are going to add one more thing, and that is our compass. The compass tells the different directions. And the easiest way... Calm down. <laughs> you are excited. The easiest way to do a compass is to just kind of put a, almost like a plus sign like that and you have little arrows pointing each way and um, north east south west one of my students told me they learned never eat soggy waffles <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that and I could draw a little circle in the middle people like to really decorate their compasses too so you could make it part of the map or something like that and I could name I could name my rivers, name my mountains, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna close out because I think the mountains of ice. That sounds cool. I'll put some little hills over here, whatever. So I'm gonna kind of close down before my son takes over our video. But I hope you had fun drawing your map, and I can't wait to see how these turn out. Miss Hammond has a super fun add-on that's going to make your map even more epic. All right, guys, stay safe. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you're enjoying your time at home. I hope you're making and creating and doing beautiful things. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.